Okay, in this video we are going to solve a relayed rates problem that involves a triangular trough. And troughs are quite popular in relayed rates problems. Um, maybe more so there than elsewhere. Um, let's take a look at the problem. So, we have a trough is 10 feet long and its ends have the shape of isosceles triangles that are 3 feet across at the top and have a height of 1 foot. Um, if the trough is being filled with water at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute, how fast is the water level rising when the water is 6 inches deep? So, like with all related grids questions, you want to start with a picture. So I'm going to draw two isosceles triangles and just kind of connect them. So here is what the trough looks like, roughly. And we're given the dimensions of the um, overall trough. So we know the height is 1 foot. We know that the... Um, width across the top is going to be 3 feet, and then we know that the length of it is going to be 10 feet. Okay, so the 10 feet is going to apply no matter what's going on, but the 1 and the 3 are only if the trough is completely full. Otherwise, we're filling this with water, um, and because we're filling it with water and you see an isosceles triangle, it means we probably want to cut the um, cut that in half and get just a right triangle. So that's what I'm actually going to do here. So I'm going to take just this right triangle. So in this case, uh, that's the overall trough. So uh, I'm going to add this. That's the water's height. So this distance is one. This will be three halves because it's only half of the distance across the top. And then I'm going to call this here H for the height of the water at any particular time. And then I'm going to call this R because, I don't know, I did a lot of cone problems and I was always calling that R. Um, so from this, just like with cone problems, I can set up this. I know r over h is going to be 3 halves over 1. And from there, I know that r is equal to just 3 halves h. So I'm going to save that for a little bit um, and see what I can do with it. So the volume of this thing is just going to be base times height. So if you have a, a right prism, it's always going to be uh, the area of the base times the height. So in this case, the volume is going to be... Um, so I'm going to call the total distance across the top there, I just added it to the picture, is 2R. Um, so it's a triangle, so the area of the, of the triangle is 1 half. The base, which is 2R, times uh, the height, which I called H in my little figure on the side. And then the height of the trough overall is 10, so I just have to multiply by 10. So that's the area of the base is the triangle. The height in this case is the height of the trough, which is 10 feet long. Um, so I have that. So this simplifies to 10RH. Um, so now let's see what we're actually trying to do in the problem. So uh, we're trying to find how fast the water level is rising, which really means we're trying to find dH dt as we set it up. And what do we know? We know that the water is 6 inches deep, and that's annoying because all the rate, uh, the rate that we're given is in feet per minute and everything else is in feet, so we have to convert that. So I'm going to say when h is 1 half foot. Okay, so since I'm looking for dH dt, it makes sense to get rid of r in my volume formula. So I'm going to rewrite it as 10 and then 3 halves h, because I know r is 3 halves h, and then times h. And this will simplify to just 15 h squared. I'm looking for um, dH dt, so at this point I should take a derivative. So I'm going to say dV dt is 30 h, and then by the chain rule, dH dt. If you forget the chain rule there, you won't have the thing you're trying to solve for. Um, so now I think I can just plug in. Uh, I didn't yet pull it out, but um, water is being filled, so the trough is being filled, which means that the rate that I have is positive, and it's at a rate of 12 cubic feet per minute. So I know that dV dt is actually 12 cubic feet per minute. So I have um, dV dt, I know h at the exact moment, and all I want to do is solve for dH dt, so let's go up here and fill in. So we get 12 is 30 times 1 half dH dt, which means that dH dt is 12 over 30, uh, should be, yeah, 12 over 15, sorry, because 30 times 1 half is 15, obviously. Um, and that simplifies, so dH dt is 4 fifths, but you're not done with the problem until you put the units on. So um, we're talking about feet and we're talking about minutes, and this is a height, so it'll just be feet per minute. And there you go. All right, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.